regenerative medicine emerged from a group of humanity scholars, creative writers, philosophers, clinicians, including many different specialties. What we did was we got together and sort of allowed for the birth of narrative medicine in that room as not just a clinical endeavor, but also as an educational endeavor. We have an incredibly talented group of faculty and an as incredibly talented group of alumni who have come through the program over the past 20 years. I want to stress that narrative medicine is a very vibrant, alive thing. 2002 was nowhere near where we are now in terms of commitments and awarenesses and being in this world that we are in now. We are concerned about stories, we are concerned about health, and we are concerned about the way that the interaction between stories and health either supports or doesn't support social justice. As the field matures, and evolves, it responds to a need for connecting the more theoretical aspects of the program with the very practical question of how do we, how do we actually affect change. And we have learned things just in the past two months that we didn't know before. So that's why we need to have persons joining us along the way from the beginning so that they can bring us more forward into a future that right now we cannot imagine, but you can.